making them all squares, then it's homogeneous. Okay? Okay? It's homogeneous. Uh, now, homogeneous also means homogeneous also means is that we can't we can't have a constant a constant term, okay? Because a constant term, yeah, is effectively okay? effectively. So let's let's have a look. A constant a constant term. So what happens with a constant term? So let's say we have something like a n is equal to c one a n to the minus one plus c two times a n to the minus two plus all the way down to the kth term c k times a n to the minus k plus some other constant. Let's say the constant is b. Okay? Well, effectively b is the same as yeah a n okay some a n yeah raised to the power of zero, okay? So actually this exponent, yeah, is different. We have to have the terms all having the same power, yeah, okay? And effectively what we have, well, not a, let's say a n to the, let's say it's a n to the one before, who cares, yeah? Maybe is that, is that important? Yeah, a n to the k minus k minus one, yeah, okay? Uh, which might not be defined, but effectively it's, it's this constant term, yeah, okay? This constant term, yeah, okay? Here the b, yeah? isn't associated with a previous term in the sequence, which we can't have, yeah? This would make this hetero, heterogeneous, heterogeneous, okay? And then the final thing that we're interested, in, well, not the final thing, the degree, okay? The degree of a, so, sorry, back to our examples, okay? So back to our examples here, we have the first example, which was the nth term is defined in terms of the previous one plus two. So this is not homogeneous because we have a constant term here. Okay, that's an that's one that's that's not homogeneous. It is it is linear. Okay, it is linear. Okay, but it's definitely not homogeneous. Okay. Uh, what about one of the previous ones again? Okay, let's see. Okay. So this particular recurrence relation that we had here doesn't have a constant term and each term in here is effectively raised to the power of one so this is homogeneous it's also linear because the terms that the the previous terms only appear as as on their they appear on their own within terms yeah okay so it's linear and it's homogeneous okay uh, that's important and let's have a look at the next one okay the next one here, okay. Well, what's going on here? This this is definitely not linear, okay, as we know, because we have two terms as the product, okay. But I suppose it is homogeneous to some to, in some sense because each one is raised to the power of one, so it is homogeneous. So, but it's a non-linear homogeneous system, yeah. There's no there's no constant term here if that makes sense as well, yeah. Uh, just moving ahead there, let's go back to what we had, okay? Uh, what else do we need to define? We need to also define, what we'd like to define is the degree, the degree of a recurrence relation, okay? Well, the degree is basically defined to be, <clears throat> it defines, the, it defines, the, it's, it's how many previous terms are included, yeah, okay? Or probably more importantly, yeah, uh, the degree is, yeah, how far back, how far back, okay, do we go? Do we, do we go, if that makes sense, yeah? Okay, how far back do we go in relation to our definition? So you can see that an here, okay, just if we were to find it like this, this would be degree one because we're only looking back one position. If we were to define it like this, this would be of degree two because the, the, the an is defined in, in terms of two previous terms. And if we went back k terms, it would be of degree k because we're defining an in terms of k previous terms. The important thing is if it is of degree k, well then that ck cannot be equal to, not equal to zero because if it's equal to zero, we wouldn't have that there. And actually what we'd have is the one before it, which would be c of k, c of k plus one times a n of minus k plus one is the one before that, if that makes sense. So that's what we mean by the degree, is how far back do we go with respect to respect to terms, okay? 
And then constant coefficients, okay, well, constant coefficients basically mean that these C1s, C2s to CKs are all well-defined and they are actual numbers that they're constants, yeah, okay? So that the C1, C2, all the way down to CK are, are, are effectively, well, they could be, they, 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 they could be, they could be anything. They could be, but maybe what we're going to say is that they are elements of the, the real numbers. That's probably the best thing to say there. So just maybe just to come back here. So let's have a look at some more recurrence relations. We won't, we won't work them out, right? But let's keep them simple. So let's say we have an is equal to uh, two times an minus one, okay? Uh, where a zero is equal to one. So this here is linear because we don't have the product of previous terms. The term is on its own. Uh, it's also homogeneous because all terms have the same power. There's only one here, so it's homogeneous. So this is a linear homogeneous recurrence, okay? And it has a constant coefficient of 